Britons reacted furiously at Beijing for allowing the COVID-19 outbreak to become a worldwide pandemic and called for an end to trade with China. China was the initial epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak but has since emerged from its lockdown after containing the virus. Although it has now contained the virus, the Chinese government has been criticized for its initial response to the contagion by some conservative MPs. A recent UK poll conducted by Redfield and Wilton Strategies showed 55% of Britons believe the Chinese government was to blame for the COVID-19 outbreak. Reacting to the poll, Express.co.uk readers expressed their fury at Beijing for allowing the virus to spread worldwide. David Painter said, whatever the decisions made at the outbreak of this terrible virus may now be criticized in hindsight. The whole situation the world, their total contempt for all has been a demonstration to the rest of the world what very dangerous people we face. Carmen Monti said, all people who did not pay attention are partly to blame for their own troubles but the main blame still lies with China. Another person wrote, the virus started in China and China covered it up for as long as it could. In the meantime, they stopped all incoming flights but did not stop outgoing flights. Within this period of time, the virus traveled to Europe, USA and around the world. Yes. China is to blame. Another said, stop China and their trade. Cost lives all over the world cause of one month's arrogance. Last week, a report from the Commons Foreign Affairs Committee called on the government to confront an alleged campaign of disinformation. In a new report, MPs have claimed China sought to cover up the outbreak's origins. Chair of the committee, Tom Tegendhat told the Daily Telegraph that China had cost UK lives. He added, the government has modeled their response to the coronavirus based on information from across the world. That is impossible to do if a country is misleading you. China's lies are costing British lives. Now, more than ever, Britain needs to think about resetting its relationship with China. MPs highlighted how Dr. Li Wenlang was forced to confess to making false comments on the virus before his death from the contagion in February. Cabinet Secretary, Michael Gove also insisted the information from China on the virus had not. He said, the first case of coronavirus in China was established in December of last year, but it was also the case that some of the reporting from China was not clear about the scale, nature, the infectiousness of this. Sir Ian Duncan Smith also said, as a result of Beijing's cover-up and delay, global health experts are convinced the rest of the world had insufficient time to prepare for the pandemic, which means the effect of the outbreak has most likely been worse. For too long, nations have lamely kowtowed to China in the desperate hope of winning trade deals. But once we get clear of this terrible pandemic, it is imperative that we all rethink that relationship and put it on a much more balanced and... 